it's Sunday morning. It's at 10.35 a.m. I am going to get my niece because I am going to be part of Avengers event today. Hopefully that connects me with a lot of new people. I've never been part of something like this before. I have attended one before and I freaking loved everything about it. And I'm really excited to now be part of it. So let's see how that goes for me later. Can I grab one? Yes. going to be 9 p.m. Oh, I feel like my face looks so chubby. Had an awesome, awesome, awesome turnout at the vendor's event. I got my beautiful flowers. I'm almost all ready. Just a couple more things to get done. It's Monday morning guys. Today I'm going to have an iced coffee for breakfast because we have coffee in Herbalife now. We have house blend and a mocha flavor. I like both but today I'm feeling this mixture. So I already have it all mixed up. What I do in my cup is add some chocolate syrup just because I'm a chocolate lover just like that and then I'm going to add some ice in here I've already mixed a little bit of the house blend just a little bit of the mocha flavor and I have my ice in my cup and I'm just going to add and this is better and healthier of course than any other coffee out there it has a 15 grams of protein only 100 calories and two grams of sugar. It's a great for a pick me up. And instead of grabbing a coffee house drink with high sugar and empty calories, enjoy Herbalife Nutrition High Protein Iced Coffee. And there you go. You There you have it. But you feel like that because what serves them for? A new it's been a super awesome day at the shop. We've been serving up the shakes and the teas. And now I am going to take a tea with a lift off to my friend Maria that works on 10th Street, not too far from us, doing deliveries like we do every day. Girls and guys, mask. If yes, how many times a week do you mask? I even mask under my arms because during my pregnancy, my underarms got really, really dark. I'm thankful it was in my face. You know how some women get baño? I have not gotten that, thank God. I am using my Herbalife Mint Clay Mask, of course. This stuff is bomb, you guys. This gets rid of any breakouts for me. It really, really helps with scars. Ever since I was 15, I just have really serious and sensitive acne prone skin. So yes, I'm just unwinding. I'm just gonna mask for the next 20 minutes. Um, I should probably read a little bit and I'll go to sleep it's now Tuesday morning I just brushed my teeth washed my face um, last night I had some cramping but I think it's due to all of the moving I know it's way too early for contractions hopefully she stays in there for two more weeks I just went in with my daily glow moisturizer Week. I really need to get my car seat installed I have her stroller I was finally able to find someone to help me move my couches. So my place is coming together shortly, but surely I still have to put a table right here. I have to go grocery shop because as of right now, all I have is water and a protein beverage mix from Herbalife. Just got a package from Herbalife. All of your packages from Herbalife will come with what you order. 
So that's like the little invoice. I got a Clarify mask. Clarify is the line. And then this is especially for more acne prone skin. A sample pack that I honestly have never ordered before, but I saw it on the website. So it comes with teas with our best selling fat burner. It comes with a shake and with a protein bar. We have big and small tea. We have raspberry, we have chai, we have lemon. Morning, this is a little Alka-Seltzer tablet formulated with Echinacea, zinc, a lot of vitamin C and K. My God, how cute do I look? El club de mi hermano because I should probably work out because I have not worked out in so long, but that doesn't mean I haven't been active. I've been way more active than probably a pregnant lady should be. But I do want to get moving and grooving. So I'm gonna go to a Zumba class tonight. Wednesday morning, I just came to drop off some lift offs to my friend Pete. He's turned into one of my very close friends and he loves the lift offs. He loves the energy it gives him. He was in my last uh, vlog with me, week or whatever. So the lift offs, they either come in this size or in this small. And I sold him 15 right now. So that was a pretty good sale to start off my Wednesday morning. I have to deliver this fiber. And I love delivering because whenever I deliver, people tip me. I think that's super amazing. So this active fiber is going to my friend. This and to, to another friend. But I'm waiting for them to answer because I don't want to show up and then them not be there. So these are for blood sugar support and then our lemon tea small size caiga dinero de donde caiga pero que caiga honestly you don't have to be experienced in sales to work for Herbalife Herbalife is such an easy business but I was also one of those people that was like how how do people sell this product I used to say that and I've been knowing about Herbalife I've been consuming the product ever since I was eight years old and you know like I realized why you know some people are like dude I want to do it I want to be this healthy salesperson or whatever you want to call it like, how do i start you start by drinking the products because you cannot distribute something that you don't consume because people will ask you okay and what about this what does this do and this and this and we just have so many products you really have to stay on top of the game you really do have to be committed to your nutrition first of all and to just helping people and meeting friends like Peter when I met him you know we were total strangers now we even go to brunch together it is a business that you must be social in so if you're a little shy it's not impossible for you to do it either it's just gonna be a little harder for you but that's the fun thing about it you're going to step out of your comfort zone you're going to meet people you're going to learn so much and the trainings are a must like you have to train even if you can't go to the trainings you have to learn somehow some way you know because we like i said we have endless products endless you know ingredients that you have to learn about and you don't have to know every single thing but you have to know what you're talking about you have to know what you're offering and that's what a lot of people don't want to do they don't want to pay for the trainings they don't want to travel to the trainings out of state it's like okay then how are you gonna grow your business like no there is definitely you know things that you have to do even if you don't really want to at the beginning but then thanks to that the day of tomorrow you're going to be able to do things that other people can't do because you did what you didn't want to do when you had to do it time came to my favorite store tomorrow thursday i am officially 38 weeks pregnant which means i have 
two weeks to meet my baby. Yeah. So the time has come to put my bag together. I'm still deciding if I want to put a di if I want to buy a diaper bag. But I'm just gonna use my backpack for now. Because this is perfect for at least her outfits, some of what I'm gonna use, and we'll see what I use as a diaper bag or if I just end up buying one. Bag right now, I'm just starting to wash some of the things and um kind of put like her first outfit together i'm still deciding on what i want to take but in the meantime i'm just getting everything washed for sure if you can yourself if you can find yourself saying every everyone always does such to and such to me. I have officially made it to 38 weeks with you, Mariana. I am super excited to meet you. You are helping me become the woman that I have always wanted to become. This is you inside of me at 38 weeks. It's almost time for us to meet each other. So upset I didn't take a video when I made my iced coffee this morning. It was so, so, so bomb. I added a protein bar of Herbalife, of course, because we do have those. I used the lemon flavor, but we do have vanilla almond peanut butter. Oh, I'm so mad I didn't video it. Thursday, Friday, Friday, it's Friday p.m. I'm running a bit late to Zumba, but because I had some clients at New Day. My girl that I met on Instagram brought a friend to my brother's nutrition club. So that's where I'm headed at right now. So they're not shy, you know, to go in and shake up their bodies. So that's where I'm going. <laughs> Super long and exhausting day. I noticed at the dance class today my body was not feeling it. Today was a super awesome day at the shop as well, but it wasn't like other days where I'm making like shake after shake after shake after shake after protein pancake after waffle order. It was a really, you know, like customers would come in make their order go another one would come in so i wasn't like on my feet all the time i'm just exhausted right now like literally i'm so ready to go to sleep i'm so glad tomorrow is saturday i'm gonna go grocery shopping in the morning finally and let's see how that goes because i'm kind of like the most suckiest shopper ever especially when it comes to groceries i just buy a bunch of random stuff but let's see what things I end up with my cart tomorrow. What's your favorite cereal mixture, you guys? I was really feeling the Fruity Pebbles because at New Day Nutrition, we have a shake called Fruity Pebbles, so I had to buy some for the toppings. So I just decided to bring a pack home, and these had two bags. I did go grocery shopping, but I'm telling you guys, like, I suck. I got pink salt because I heard this is healthy or whatever. Uh, the Fruity Pebbles. I got to make some sandwiches. Um, the croissants, I already have those. I got these um, protein peanut butter bars or whatever. Um, Pop-Tarts, Doritos, almond milk, because we don't fuck with cow's milk up in here. And yeah, pretty much just to make a sandwich. This is a fucking bomb. I had never tried it. I love it. And supposedly it's 0% fat, so okay. Add chips to your sandwich. If yes, what kind? This is a must on my sandwiches. I love the crunch. I love the Today, I have not left my house at all. Woke up, I got ready with the intention to go to the shop. Um, but honestly, like, no, I just feel like maybe I should 
chill because the way I was feeling last night and the way I'm feeling right now it's like my body got hit by a bus or something that's really the only way I can explain it I was at the shop yesterday and I was just feeling really hot like sweaty hot so I came home showered whatever and that night like my back like it went from zero to a hundred real quick so I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I should just chill. Um, I'm, I never, I'm never at home, so maybe it's time to just start enjoying the peace of my place. <sighs> right now I'm gonna eat a sandwich because I literally don't even want to leave. I don't even want to leave my house at this point. Like I just feel like maybe this baby's gonna come here sooner than her due date. About two weeks ago, I went to my sister's house for a cookout and I told them how I was still feeling, you know, like super fantastic and how I thought that at that point, um, maybe I was going to go over my due date, but no, like right now how I'm feeling is like my body's like bent. I might go to the store later just to get some last minute things, but if not, honestly, I'm just going to chill and, you know, end my week like this like just chilling i do want to go get a tea because i mean i guess i could boil some hot water yeah i could boil some hot water here and have a cup of tea um because i wanted to go down to the shop for a tea like i said i might go to the store later but if i can avoid leaving my house i'm just gonna do that at this point so if i don't record anything else this was the end of my week my ass did not stay at home i hit up chipotle Got some chips. I always get a chicken bowl with fajitas, with lettuce, guac, the three sauces, and I always make a mess with my burrito bowls. I just love everything to look mixed together. And I hit up TJ Maxx and Sam's Club because I was so freaking bored. Like I was trying to rest. But it's like, what are you resting up, girl? You haven't done nothing today. So the first thing I got was some fresh flowers. These are from Sam's Club. They're absolutely gorgeous. If there's one thing I love more than money in Herbalife, it's some fresh flowers. For real, like I love, 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 love fresh flowers. So the next thing that I got at Sam's Club was some toothpaste, of course. Sam's Club is awesome. If you're not trying to spend a lot of money, all of this that I'm going to show, I spend like 240 on it which to me is an amazing deal they had this for like 20 dollars it's the my favorite drugstore um mascara cleansing water i never use that i always just use wipes so because it came together i just picked that one up and i saw this since i went grocery shopping yesterday but i was like nah i don't really need it i have a perfect one at home but then when i went back today i was like okay i'm gonna get it so this is the hotel premiere collection it's a really big towel pink of course i am obsessed with pink ever since i found out i was having a girl so i picked that towel up it's really really thick so that is really good for when i dry my hair i picked up this big ass charming um toilet paper the ultra soft we always use charming when i lived with my parents charming was the brand we would go with and i'm getting like this stuff just because i'm gonna give birth soon so the more i can avoid leaving my house when i have my baby the better so that's why i got the toothpaste the mascara because that's what I use in my everyday makeup look or whatever I got this fabric softener I didn't go with the brand this time just because I'm a little gold ass sometimes like I'm I'm not like I I like to you know have what I want what I need and then some but it's like if I can save you know 12 bucks on some fabric softener just by not choosing a brand like why wouldn't i do it you know it's gonna do the same thing the other one is gonna do so then i got these um <laughs> this is funny but 
my actually my baby daddy was like aren't you gonna need pads when you give birth so i did pick up these i don't know if i'm gonna use them all but honestly like i know that there's girls that are like oh, i hate being on my pee. i love you know my body releasing everything it has to release i try to not you know hate on my body i love my body like honestly I love to see myself naked. I have loved to see my belly grow. Um, so when it comes to my menstrual cycle, like, I don't hate it. Like, I love it because it's very dangerous if you don't have your menstrual cycle. So I'm really glad I picked those up because I know I'm going to for sure need them. So I did get these um, Pampers Swaddlers. They come... 162 this is a newborn size i do have some newborns but they're like very little so i wanted to pick up some newborn diaper sizes and then i went with this um two which is a 12 to 18 pounds and these are awesome these are like 40 dollars a box but like you get literally 168 diapers and then right here comes 192 diapers. So this is actually the one after the newborn. The one I showed right now is after this one. This is 192 and this is 8 to 14 pounds. So I have a feeling that I'm going to be needing these more than anything. So then that was it for Sam's. And like I said, it was like 240 but... I got toilet paper for days. I got fabric softener to last me like a whole month or a little bit more because I only wash like once a week. Um, since it's mostly just my clothes. And after that, I went to Target. They're very close to each other here in Council Bluffs. Um, I now live in Bellevue, so it's like a seven minute drive from where I'm at. So I did get this for my shower because I hate having everything like in the little corners of the shower. So I'm like super, super excited to finally put this. This was a $15. Fired because this looks weird now, but oh well, you know, at least I got my stuff in there. All of the things that I use for my shower are also from Herbalife. The shampoo, the conditioner, the face wash, um, even the bar, you can't see the logo on it anymore because I've used it. I do use this one just because it was a gift, but um, no, Herbalife is my go-to skincare. J Max is my go-to store, so is Ross, Marshalls, and honestly, the TJ Maxx and Council Bluffs is like the bomb.com. They have so many cute things that I would never, you know, I never really went to that one. I would always go to the one in West Omaha, but this one has everything like super, super organized. I really, really loved it. So I was going to originally go to Bye Bye Baby for this, but I didn't want to drive all the way to West Omaha. You know, having a TJ Maxx super, super close to me. Because I was going to get this at Bye Bye Baby. But that was more like a 15-minute drive instead of like a 7-minute drive. So I was like, yeah, let me just go to TJ Maxx real quick. So I did get the Boppy pillow. Just because I've heard really good things about it. My sister has one. I saw one at her house last time I went. So this at TJ Maxx was $25. And when I looked it up at Bye Bye Baby, because I was going to go, it was 40 there. So I saved a buck. This is what it looks like. It's really soft, but firm at the same time. So I'm excited to use this. I'm really hoping I can breastfeed for the first six months. That's like my goal. I also got this plushy headband. This was $5. I've honestly always wanted one of these. But, um, I don't know, I could just never find it in me to actually buy one. So, aproveché que they were spoiling me según, and I got this, so I'm excited to try it. I also got for my diaper bag, or whatever, or just around the house, really, I got this, so it would have been 78 supposedly, and I got it for 25 bucks. It's this calvin klein 
robe. It's super, super soft. It's also long. So I'm really excited to use this after my shower with my little headband. I feel most cute. And I got this um, shirt for eight buckaroos. It's, I love this color. I, blue and red are my colors. Like they look really good on me. No es por nada, but yeah, it had been a while since I, it's been a while since I've gotten new clothes. Like I, when I get new clothes right now, it's just dresses because of my big ass belly, but I need to start getting workout clothes, you know, just sexier looking dresses. Can't wait to give birth. So the next two things I got were just for like my personal use. I got this chi, I pronounce it chi. Uh, for when I straighten my hair because right now I just have a uh, Moroccan argan oil And I know it's not that good to be straightening my hair without any heat protection I also picked these up to take to the hospital because I'm gonna have my lashes on for when I take my first pictures with my baby So and of course just for everyday use as well I was gonna say was that it because it was it was not a lot, but I don't think it was. This was it. I got this for my bathroom. I got it because of the chrome finish. I love, 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 love this. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna put in this in my bathroom right now. And of course, it matches the shower caddy. That's why I got it as well. Because I hate crowded. I like things to look as empty as they can possibly look. Like, I don't like when everything just looks crazy and right now my uh, bathroom sink, like the perfumes are everywhere. It's just not a good look. Like, it's not seem me choca, to be honest. Like, that's why I needed this. I should have gotten another one for this side, to be honest. But let's see how many things fit in here. So it didn't make a huge difference, but in all honesty, it made all the different. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get one for this side too. But in the meantime, there's the perfumes, the setting spray, the stuff for my hair. This I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the label. And then just a bunch of random. That's actually an iPhone case holder. And the last thing I got was this Kate Spade uh, fleece blanket. This was $25, it's a full queen size. And I really needed one like this because sometimes at night I get cold. But right now I'm in that like etapa in my pregnancy where I'm like chilly, but I don't want to turn the air off because then I'm going to start sweating. And I don't know about you guys, but sweating while sleeping is disgusting. So it's like, damn, give a girl a break. So this is perfect. It's not too thick because they did have this thicker um, option. But I don't want like tampoco tanto, you know, like I just need something light. This matches my bed perfectly and it's super super huge like i said it is a queen slash full so my bed is a queen so i'm excited to try this on tonight Ugh, like if i'm gonna wear it right no like i'm excited to sleep in it so that was what i got at the store i think out of everything i'm super excited for my bobby out of everything that i got today so that is officially the end of my week i'm not gonna do anything else today other than shower so i can use my little bow thing and call it a night it's been an amazing week i feel like i got so much done um except for today and yesterday because i was being super lazy but I am glad that this week is done and over with because that just means I'm a week closer to meeting my baby girl. This Thursday, I turn 39 weeks. But yes, that is the end of my week. I hope you guys had fun watching this weekly vlog. I'm super, super excited to do my labor and delivery video. And I am, of course, going to do a postpartum 
40 days after my baby's birth video uh, because my mom she's gonna bañarme like they do in Oaxaca they give you like this shower um, and herbs you know to get you all cleansed or whatnot and all the bad vibes for them to not get close to you and your baby so I'm gonna definitely have that on my channel please subscribe like comment I want to see what you guys are thinking of my YouTube channel um, if you want me to upload anything in specific please let me know follow me on on Instagram and thank you for watching subscribe like share comment Mwah. have an amazing rest of your day